传统武术又称作功夫。Yes， <笑>最喜欢的中国功夫巨星，笑容。Yes， <笑>中国汉族的传统服装称作什么？汉服。Yes， <笑><笑>中国的四大发明是什么？呃，指南针、造纸术、印刷术，还有火药。耶、yeah. <笑>！什么节日要赏月，而且要赏满月？啊、uh, ，中秋节。Yes <笑>。What is the traditional Chinese art of mask changing in Hong Kong？ 呃，四川。Okay. Yes。大猪、小猪落玉盘，形容的是什么乐器的声音？琵琶。说出中国的八大菜系。烧鸭。烧鸭。叮叮叮。呃，粤菜，呃，徽菜，鲁菜，呃，呃，呃，川菜，呃，湘菜，闽菜，呃，靠近上海的浙江，江，江苏。耶、yes. ！各位同学，设定好你们的换气尺。我们呢，首先看一下纸，在台上的四个人，所以叫四尺四裁啊。上海的朋友们好，我们是濠江中学附属英才学校的新猫小队。我想问大家，在这儿中文课是否被取在了听？濠江英才新猫小队，轻易玩到中华宝贝，耶！However, during the Han Dynasty, calligraphy began to have a closer and more similar appearance to the calligraphy we see and write today. Almost every dynasty had its own distinctive writing styles in Chinese calligraphy. The most famous styles throughout Chinese history are regular script, Li Shu, and cursive. Each writing style has its own talented representative calligrapher. One of the most famous calligrapher is Wang Xizhi, who mastered regular script and cursive. The reason why I like Chinese calligraphy is because of its beauty and uniqueness. Unlike computer fonts, which have square-shaped structures and similar appearances, Chinese calligraphy is more like art. This treasure has managed to be well preserved despite the existence of computer fonts. Therefore, we should continue passing down this tradition from generation to generation and allow this treasure to continue recording our history.